the ultimate biscuit ranking. I'm Darcy, hello. If you're new here, nice to meet you. I like a good biscuit. I'm a Brit. Do you know what else I like? A cup of tea, a good cup of tea. Look at my mug. It's perfect for biscuits, obviously. Slap my little biscuit in there. Good old cup of tea. So I thought it would be rude to not make a video ranking all of the biscuits maybe not all of them but i'm gonna do a lot because i wholeheartedly believe you should romanticize the little things in life such as a comical mug with a good cup of tea today we are starting with the lotus biscoff biscuit because i found this article online that said it was ranked number one and i happen to have biscoff biscuits in my cupboard It's actually just making me laugh how it's got biscuit pocket written on it as if it wasn't obvious that it's a pocket for your biscuits. What else would it be a pocket for? What else? I like how we get two in this one. We get two. Actually, obviously we need two for every biscuit as well because one of them we're just gonna let drop in the tea. Look at the quality. The quality is unbelievable. Look how they've written Lotus on it. That is phenomenal. I bet they stamp that out. I'd like to go to a biscuit factory one day. That's amazing. Oh, oh, it broke. 13.89 seconds. Obviously I've not done any other biscuits yet, so I don't actually know if that's good or bad. How exciting that we get to find out. There can be a whole scoreboard. I'm going to rate the absorption a seven out of 10. It's good. It is good. Taste, I mean, it's very sweet. You can't go wrong. I'm gonna go for a 6.5. And the texture, I'm gonna go also for a seven. Another day. The next biscuit is actually hidden. It's actually in its little pocket, which is kind of cute. The biscuit today is ginger nut. I actually don't really eat ginger nuts. They were just in the cupboard. So this is gonna be interesting. I don't know if I like them. I've not had them since I was younger. I didn't actually like them as a child. So yeah, this will be interesting. I feel like this is gonna last quite a while. Let's see. Oh no, it's cracking. <gasps> and it's gone. Ooh. Ooh, oh I say. You know what? It's not looking good for the ginger nuts. I don't like how it leaves a burning sensation in my mouth. After I've had a biscuit, I want it to taste like, like butter. Not like ginger. Like it tastes like a ginger shot. That's what I get after I've eaten the biscuit. And I'm not loving it. Taste is a two out of 10. Okay, in fairness, I don't eat it and go, ugh, disgusting. But I don't think there is a single biscuit on this planet that I would. It goes too soggy in the tea. You need to, that's like a two second dunk that's needed. So I don't think it absorbs very well. And the texture isn't great either. Even without the tea, it's too crunchy. I prefer gingerbread to ginger nut. I might genuinely never have another ginger nut again. And I'm okay with that. <laughs> Absorption is a four and texture is a three. And the overall for the ginger nut, is a 2.5. Today we've got nice biscuits. Sorry, that's just Dexter come at oh, Dickie! <gasps> Excuse me! No! Biscuits for you! It's not dark biscuits! God, he's, he's strong. Sorry, this is majorly interrupting this video. This is what the nice biscuit looks like, for anyone that didn't know. It literally says the word nice on it. Crazy. It, it's giving almond. Less dunk. Oh! Mmm! <laughs> You know what? That's a classic. I'd completely forgotten about these. My mum, she either used to give us a custard cream with some squash after school, or it was a nice biscuit, I'm not gonna lie. I'm pretty sure I remembered preferring the custard creams because you get the cream as well. Plus it's like having two biscuits. I like this. I like how it's almondy. I didn't realize, I wonder. I'm gonna Google the ingredients to see if I'm right. Mmm. It's a perfect morning biscuit. No one is ever gonna go to the shops at 9 p.m. at night and get this. It's kind of like, 
It's kind of like a really thin almondy shortbread. It's good. I prefer this to the lotus. Or is it coconut? Oh my god, it might be coconut. Taste is gonna be a seven. No, no. Come on, Darcy, it's not seven. Taste is gonna be a 6.5, a solid 6.5. I really like the texture as well. I think the texture has to be a seven. You know what? It does absorb the tea very well. Just a few seconds is all it needs. Just one, two, take it out. That's its prime. And I think the absorbability is a 6.5. So overall, I think it gets a 6.5. Ready? What do you think out of 10? Solid seven, yeah? What do you reckon? High five if you like it. Yeah. Now the cheeky biscuit to add to the collection. Look at these puppies. As you may have noticed, my pocket is empty. Let's crack open the Viennese milk chocolate dip fingers. This is the first one of all the biscuits that I've done so far that I've not actually tried. I'm very excited because this looks like a bit of me. I've got some very unfortunate news. Look what's happened. We, we, I know my biscuits are on the floor. I don't really care. But we've realized an issue with the pocket. You can't have chalky biscuits in the pocket. That is a serious downfall. We need a pocket that's resilient to melting chocolate. How am I supposed to lick that chocolate out of that pocket? You know what? It doesn't matter. We're here to rate the biscuits. The fact that it doesn't fit in my pocket is unfortunate. We're just gonna have to roll with it. That's what happens. Sometimes things don't always go to plan. A very good life lesson there, shown through a chocolate biscuit and a pocket. But anyway, the packaging is giving luxurious. It's giving handcrafted. It's given made in a bakery. Look at that. Look at that. I'm sorry. That's, that's amazing. That looks to me like mashed potato. It's giving mashed potato and gravy a little bit, but... <laughs> doesn't taste like that, that's for sure. I've not tasted it yet, but I'm very excited and it's got 10 out of 10 smell. You can probably hear the excitement in my voice. I think we could be on to an absolute winner of a biscuit. Let's go, let's do it. I'm actually sad at the thought of dunking this one. Oh my gosh, it's gonna last for ages. Okay, so because we've got the chocolate, I actually think the dunk ability is going to be a long while. Like it must have already been 10 seconds already. This is wild. This is, this is literally a scientific study. The chocolate is only just melting. Oh my God, come on. I've got places to be. I actually don't, but I can't spend all day doing this. The tea will get cold. Oh, I really want to taste it. This is, this is agony. I'm sorry, it's taking the mick. It's taking the absolute biscuit. You're joking. Mm. It failed the dunkability test. Or did it pass? Because it was so good that it doesn't dunk. Mmm. The flavors are melting in my mouth. Oh, I say, what a real treat. That must have been at least a minute. So I just ate it. The taste is exquisite. It is buttery, it's vanillary. The chocolate is divine. Together, they are a match made in heaven. The texture just melts in your mouth. The taste is incredible. The taste is going to have to be a nine out of 10. Oh, the texture is unbelievable. The texture is gonna to have to be a 9.5 out of 10. Absorbability wasn't very good. It's not absorbing that tea like you want it to. And for that, I'm giving it a five. But overall, it's beautiful. It's stunning and I'm going to give it a 9.5 out of 10.